guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing and Flushing Outdoors. Today we're doing a little something different. We're gonna cook some baby back ribs. Got some nice and meaty ones here. We're gonna do three racks. We got the smoker out here. And we got we're gonna do a it's a blueberry smoke tar billies barbecue sauce. I picked this up at the West Virginia State Fair. Really nice guy. You'll have to check him out on his website. I'll put a link in the description. And two, we couldn't do without the uh, mascot of the channel. We got patches out here. Patches. Patches. He said, yeah man, I like barbecue. Says it done yet. And we got the big smoker going. So we got the fire lit. We gotta wait for it to heat up. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we're gonna use our tar billies grilling sauce. This is uh, blueberry smoke. I picked this up at the West Virginia State Fair. It's got a good flavor. It says West Virginia grown as you can see on the label. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to use my favorite rub, the McCormick Applewood. Alright guys, see the skin on the back of these ribs? We got to get that off so we get the smoke and the flavor to penetrate. So I'm going to find we're going to find the end of that membrane. We're going to find the end of that membrane and we're going to shave him off here. Once you get a hold of it. Once you get a start, it's pretty easy. Just like that, you don't want to eat that. So, and then you may want to trim up some of the fat a little bit. Don't cut it all off, but just trim some of it up. You want some for flavor. So now we're going to hit it up with uh, the Applewood Smoke McCormick uh, Grilling Seasoning. Give it a good coat. Rub it in. Plus what I like to do is I like to cook it like this so it starts to get a nice bark on it probably I'm gonna shoot for probably uh, probably close hotter it's gonna be about 300 degrees it's probably gonna take about probably three hours as soon as these bones start to shrink up a little bit exposed then we're gonna hit it with uh, the sauce foil them up and it's gonna steam and tenderize the ribs so we're going to get do the other two racks. Stay tuned. We'll get them in the smoker. There 
guys got our baby back seasoned up we're gonna put them in the grill Here we go. Looking good, guys. All right, guys. We got our uh, ribs in the grill. I'm gonna get the temperature probes and everything set up. We're probably gonna set it at probably. We're gonna try to cook around 250, 300 degrees, and then we're gonna let it uh, cook in there for probably two or three hours, just as it starts to shrink off the uh, bones then we're going to use the uh, the uh, tar billies grilling sauce uh, blueberry smoke pretty good stuff all right guys let me get the temperature gauges guys got some baked beans in here as well that might be in another video they look good check them out Of course, we got Patches down here running around. He's like, man, what's he trying to do? Do an eyewitness on Patches. See what he thinks. What do you think, man? He's like, man, is it done yet? I, said, I don't know. He said, shoot, it's hot out here. He just got groomed, so. All right, guys, let me show you my temperature rig set up here. So normally, if I'm cooking meat, I got one of these probes. For the tank and one in the meat but for the ribs we're just going to put the probe in the tank and we're just going to cook by temperature temperature and tenderness we're not going to cook by time you know just however it turns out we just got to keep an eye on it like i said as soon as them bones start to shrink up then we're going to fool them up and add the uh the tar billies grilling sauce blueberry smoke So, and here's the remote. So, and I picked this stuff up Amazon, guys. Pretty cheap. That way you don't have to keep coming out here and checking on it. You sit back and check the temperature with the remote. It's nice. So here's how we're here's how we're gonna do it. So we got a probe set at the top of the tank. We're burning cherry wood here. Got a slide damper with a wood stove and it's a propane tank. So we got our dampers open. So we got the fire. We're cooking guys. Stay tuned. Alright, Patrick said, yeah, man, I've been waiting. Waiting on this barbecue, man. I know what it's about. Patches. Patches. Alright, guys, here we are. We're going to check the smoker. Got patches back out. Right here, we're at the... Uh, so around about 300, we're cooking pretty good. We're going to check the fire. If 
Tire looks good. We'll throw a we'll throw a chunk of wood in there. We're cooking with cherry wood today, guys. All right, stay tuned. We'll open it up on the next uh, check of the fire. We're about two hours in. Alright guys, we're back out here. We're probably about four hours later checking the smoker. We got patches. So he's tired of waiting. So we are now, let's see if we can zoom into it. So 350 is the temperature. We've been floating around 250 to 300, 350. So Alright, we're going to open her up here and take a gander. Alright guys. See how the bone is starting to shrink? That's what we want. We're gonna we gonna wrap them in foil now. Coat them with the uh, Tar Billy's barbecue sauce. The beans looking good. There you go, guys. That smell woke patches up. So we're going to hit it up with the uh, Tar Billy's Grilling Sauce, uh, Blueberry Smoke. I'll put the link in the description. Fold it up. We're gonna put them back in the smoker to tenderize them. Yo, looking good, guys. We'll probably put it back in there. I'm guessing maybe hour and a half, two hours. It'll you pull the bones right out. Alright guys, we pulled the baked beans out, they're done. So we wrapped up the baby backs, they cook for probably about another, I would say about an hour, at about 350 or so and uh, then I pulled them out and I sauced them up again and then left them in there for about 15 minutes and we're getting ready to pull them out now. Come here Patches. There we go guys, probably falling off the bone here, let's see, let's do the test, oh, a little high. There we go, done. Patch is like, yeah man. Ooh. Ah. There's the bone, so definitely nice and tender. Try it out. Nice bark on it. Good smoke color. There we 
we go, guys. Not bad. Got patches. He's a man. Come on. Give me a piece. Give one of those hot dogs. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here and eat these ribs. Stay tuned for the next episode of Fishing and Flushing Outdoors.